Hello, and one more episode for today. Uh, today's episode is going to be Blindsided. Uh, this is actually another favorite of mine. Uh, it features the first time we see the McQuaid brothers, which anybody who knows them knows. Hello! Open door s slam. Um, uh, the picture there is also a screen cap from the episode. Uh, this is where the epi this this is where the show's dramatic points really kind of hit a high. Uh, aside from gotta finish the rep, um, basically, Penhall. The episode starts off with Penhall and Hanson already infiltrated into a school as the McQuaid brothers, as they are trying to figure out about this drug ring that's going on, uh, going on in the school now. This is where everybody kind of laughs, like, how many high schools can there be in one area? Uh, I, I like to think of it as, like, they're the FBI, they have jurisdiction anywhere, and they can go for as, they can go as far as they can, basically. Um, but anyways, uh, and while there, this young lady played by Sherilyn Finn, well, let me get her name real quick, uh, Diane Nelson, uh, she she's very trusted in the school and she winds up getting a copy of Hansen's uh, reports like his you know car his uh, the McQuaid's reports about who he is because of the rumors that she's heard that he's killed people or whatever and she asked him to kill somebody for him and he, when he when he asked it turns out to be his uh, you know her father but she doesn't give any reasons just that I need you to kill him you know, and I have all this money and blah, 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 I'll give it to you. So Hanson's character, uh, Hanson himself, had, it goes through a lot in this episode. Uh, where I think we also get to see this, the real start of the friendship that Penhall and Hanson have, or are beginning to have, because he does go to Penhall. Uh, with this information, and, they, and and there's a scene where they have to, they, they decide to sit on it. Uh, and then, of course, we see, you know, Fuller, once again, showing that these people aren't just workers to him, that he does care, but he also shows his authoritative side, and, and, uh, you know, I like the chemistry, again, between Penhall and Hanson in this episode, because the beginning of the episode, you know, they're very, very tight, you know, you can, you can really believe they were brothers, even though they looked nothing alike, uh, and then, of course, it goes into a serious drama mode, and uh, this is, of course, one of those episodes that really only... It has two stories, but the one story definitely overshadows the other. Um, and we discover some more stuff about this woman and who her father is and why it is that... What may be happening, what could be happening, and, you know, and so on, and, and why she's just not leaving or whatever. You know, um, the episode was directed by David Jackson, and it was written by Jonathan Lemkin. Uh, I will point out some of the notable guest stars. It is uh, Robert Halleck, uh, comes in as Gibb. Courtney Gaines uh, plays Birch. Uh, he's one of the uh, people that Hanson and Pedro have to deal with um, in the in, uh for the drug thing, and he's most known for playing the burb in the burbs as one of the family members. And this also happens to be the first uh, appearance of Sal Janko as Blowfish, or Sal Benedushi. Uh, he did, he was in a previous episode as uh, as an uh, as uh, I think his name was Vincent or I forget Vinny or something like that. I mentioned it in the episode in that particular episode, but this is where we first get the blowfish, you know, and I love, like, the way he's introduced is right before the credits, and he's like, one, two, three, and you hear the ba, and then he does his blowfish thing, and then it goes right to credits, that's always been, like, a laughter, I always laugh at that part, um, but the episode is, is, is very well handled, uh, Tom O'Rourke, I will mention, he plays Captain Clarence Nelson, probably spoil a little bit there, but I'm not going to spoil any more. Uh, but I just wanted to make a note of him as a guest star as well. And uh, Hoffs um, doesn't have a huge role in this, neither does Aoki. I actually don't... Yeah, they do make an appearance, but it's not huge anyways, because the focus is on the Hanson story. 
and you know pinhole of course um, but I would say that this is probably another of my top five uh, I'd have to I'd have to look back on the episodes after I'm done watching all season one to kind of rate my episodes like you know uh, my top five um, but I would say definitely check it out it's another episode on season one disc three and the next episode will be Next Generation. Later.